Hey, welcome to Love and Tech. As you can see, I'm using a 5 volts relay. Some say you need a booster, voltage booster, in order to use it in Raspberry Pi. But no, you don't need it. I'll show you how. Okay? It's very simple step. You don't have to install anything. You don't have... Just, uh, you have... Just the OS. Okay? Now, this is the pin legend that you can find on the internet. Okay? So, as you can see, my connection. In my case, I'm using the power 5 volts. And then the third, the ground, and then the pin 16 also GPIO 23 okay because the one you find is very confusing in the internet I don't know why the pin number is actually different from the GPIO alright guys now as you can see I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 and a single single relay okay this is one the one you buy online and it's 5 volts okay 5 volts okay let's get to the computer in my case the first one is the trigger the second is the positive and the third is the negative so you most uh, they have a uh, the most of the chip or most of the relay has a legend so look at the back mine has okay be sure now on the raspberry pi you have to command gpio read all it will display all of this this is the status of all the pin and uh, all the pin and it's uh, location and everything as you can see this is slightly different than the one I found in the internet so you have to follow this one the one on your pie okay right just follow it okay maybe different to here. your relay okay, you see okay. the breaker it doesn't have any light I haven't found this in the internet so all you have to do command this GPIO mode for out you have to be in mode out see turn on he turned on and you have GPIO right For if you put this is in one so now in my case my breaker must be on V that's one I'm using GPIO 4 remember GPIO 4 and it must be in mode out and the value must be 1 okay the the pin has two more has two values so it's very confusing so in my case just the breaker I need it to be in 1 the V it needs to be 1 and then the mode must be out in order for it to light up Okay, very specific. Okay, now, now I'll show you how the breaker works, how the relay works. I mean, okay, this is a tester. See, now I call this state on state because of the LED, it's on. Okay, so 
this this what happened this is this two is connected this two not connected i call this okay one two three okay two and three is connected now if i turn off if i turn off the relay okay there this one and two is connected and then two and three is not connected okay understand i'll turn it on okay got it so you can just uh, connect whatever you like okay i'll show you the program i use in android this is the most easiest i can understand it's called wraps connect okay let's connect it there wraps controller all you have to do is add the device to it put the ip address and it will control the gpio very easily see yeah that's jpo control all you have to do is just enable it on the raspi config enable the gpio control there's a control there you see if i turn it off it's turn on turn on turn off okay remember my breaker will turn on if it's in mode out and the value is one that's the only way it is connected okay please subscribe to my channel for more